Awareness Month, a good time to remind ourselves mental health just as important to focus on as physical health. And sometimes there's a stigma about yeah. seeking any treatment. Yeah, so it's obviously a, a topic that's big in the news these days and for good reason and for joining us more and how we can maybe speak out against uh, not having the stigma. Two co-founders of Keep Oregon Well, and we have uh, Kim Scott and the very, very colorful Logan Lynn, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I feel like you need to band encore there, Logan. I think you should have been in our Marvel uh, superhero. <laughs> right, <outfit. laughs> right. You know, you two guys work for the Trillium Group, which uh, is, uh, supports mental health services, and you started this campaign, Keep Oregon Well. Kim, why? Yeah. Well. You know, we have a long history of working with children and families in Oregon, dating back to our Perry Center campus has worked with uh, kids since 1867. Oh, wow. So we have this long history of being embedded in Oregon, and we do extensive clinical work, everything from uh, working in residential care, alternatives to hospitalization. We're in over 100 schools. But the truth of the matter is, when we look at working within a, a context, people don't just have their individual lives in their individual families. We're part of a community. Um, and somewhere along the line, I think that we've separated the, the mind from the rest of the body when we think about health and wellness. So as we're thinking about Keep Oregon Well, it's how do we support communities? Um, how do we look at mental health, behavioral health, simply as health and health and wellness? I would like to be able to talk um, openly about my mental health, just as I would about a physical sure. health And issue. Logan's outfit helps you do that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Fight stigma. It says fight <laughs> stigma. Really, Logan, what is the message you bring with your outfit? Yeah, so we, you know, Keep Oregon Well is uh, centered around hope and joy. It's a coming out movement for people with lived experience of mental and behavioral health care challenges. It's a way for everybody to stand up and end the discrimination around yeah. people with mental illness or mental health challenges. So uh, I, I assume I'm correct when I say resources are simply still a big issue. We don't have a, enough. Is that fair? It is fair. I, I think it's very fair in terms of, you know, we have a growing state, growing population, and I think our health is also being, um, uh, it's, it's being impacted by that. I know you advocate that in just a short amount of time, we can help, you yes. know, dispel the stigma. If you have just 15 minutes, what's something you can do? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, you can obviously take the Keep Oregon Well pledge to fight stigma at keeporegonwell.com. We have a whole list of things you can stand up in your community and do. Um, anytime you ask someone how they're doing, that's standing up for mental health, right? How do you feel? How can I help you? All of those things are um, gonna be lifelines to people depending on where they're at. What about that? You know, it's such a catchphrase. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine, right? That's what you're supposed to say. Right. But you're saying we need to get past that. Yeah, we need to get past that. And um, if we think about trauma, which is one of the things that really helps us focus on um, health and people's experience, you know, there's not one person on this couch and out in the community that hasn't experienced trauma in one form or another. And we are impacted by that. So the other thing that people can do is to be open about how their lives have been affected. And you know, it's not about a story. It's not about a story regarding those people with a mental illness. It's about all of us in terms of our health, wellness, and how we've been impacted by trauma. Something else we can do is support the gala coming up for the yes. Keep Oregon Well campaign. Yeah. That's uh, Saturday, May 12th. It's at the nines at six o'clock, and you can find more information mm -hmm. at Trillium Family. Dot org. Logan Kim, thank you. Yeah, from now thank on, you so much. when I us. think about mental health, I'm also going to think about fashion. And for you, I thank, I thank you for that. <laughs> mental health and sequence. <laughs> Ashley.